so my classmates all went to the Ghibli Museum without me. So today I'm going to be taking myself there. Allow me to explain. So I know this is petty in a way that only affects me. I mean, who cares if I go to the Ghibli Museum by myself months after everyone already went. But I feel like it's something that I need to do for myself, like to cleanse myself of any potential remaining, lingering bitterness that I know, I know myself, I know I still have inside of me because Let's face it, feeling like the kid that everyone forgot to invite, the last person picked for the sports team. Yeah, I'm, I'm five years old again, and I don't like this feeling. Don't like it at all. Every semester, our classes change, so we get a chance to meet new, with new people and make new friends. But this time, I didn't really know anyone in my new class, plus I was the only Westerner in my class. I always had a hard time making friends due to a combination of shyness, low self-esteem, and having a hard time uh, trusting people. In fact, since coming to Japan, the number of times that people have told me that their first impression of me is ice queen is completely shocking to me. So lo and behold, I, I couldn't get close to anyone that semester. Probably a mix of my own shitty personality, but also like the cultural difference, the language barrier, and the fact that I was going through a really tough time that semester because I was coming to terms with the fact that I was gonna have to end my relationship with my boyfriend back then. That's why it was such a memorable, shitty event. I was so lonely. My now ex-boyfriend was being a dick, I felt isolated in class, and then I see on everyone's Instagram story that they're going to the Ghibli Museum and I'm like one of the only ones not invited and because of that I I somehow felt ashamed like it was like it was my own fault or something. Actually I also just want to say that I don't think it was malicious at all. In fact I would say that I'm 99% sure that it wasn't intentional not to invite me. I think they just pretty much forgot. But anywho, I decided that it's about time for me to go to the Ghibli Museum and that it's okay to go by myself. Because after all, isn't that how the whole Japaniku series originally started? With me wanting to go to Japan but not having anyone that wanted to go with me. So, I'm gonna wear this awesome Ghibli custom made jacket that my cousin made like my kid cousin made for me and i'm gonna go to mitaka and have an awesome day with just me myself and i and this amazing jacket so my classmates all went to the Ghibli museum without me so today i'm gonna be taking myself there So for Mitaka, you can take a bus directly to the Ghibli Museum but it's only a 15 minute walk and it's a really beautiful day cold day, but beautiful day so that's what I'm gonna do need that fresh air the one thing that I know about the Ghibli Museum in Mitaka is that you're not allowed to film or like take photos inside the museum but the outside area is okay, I believe. So I'm going in completely blind. I don't know what to expect. Surprise. Pretty sure I ended up arriving at the same time as the actual Ghibli bus. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, now that I'm almost there, I'm like, why am I doing this alone? What was this uh, penis thing all about? Um, can I have just been gone with a friend? <laughs>
Okay. Stayed there for about two hours, and there were like two long hours, 15 minutes for the little movie that you have at the beginning. And then just like walking around. Honestly, you got lost so many times trying to find like which floor to get to. Ah, but around like noon, a lot of people started coming in. I went there at 10 a.m. <laughs> Early bird as usual. But around noon, people like really started coming in. Lots of kids, lots of big families. And in this, it is a big area, but in like in that space, all these people decided to make me feel like claustrophobic slash agoraphobic, you know, at the same time. You got a little bit of a street violin play over there. Wish I could sit, but uh, no thank you. Uh, this little secluded area, not too many people, where I can tell you all about the, my little experience at the Ghibli Museum, first time. Anyway, like, yeah, two good hours in there. But uh, when the, the crowds started coming, I was like, mm. I, I've seen everything. Uh, I enjoy like the art the most, obviously, like specifically the, the like the character design sheets and stuff. Oh, so good. Um, what else can I say? I didn't go to the cafe because obviously it's probably overpriced and just like it's food. <laughs> Uh, I would say the gift shop. I'm not sure if the items in there are exclusive to this gift shop because there are so many like there are so many Ghibli um, stores around Tokyo, around Japan actually. So I'm not sure if that specific store has like exclusive items that you can only get there. Otherwise, I mean, maybe just go to a Ghibli store if for you Ghibli items. Ah, uh, shit! People are coming this way. Let's go that way. <laughs> oh, gosh, vlogging in public. And yeah, as I as I mentioned, you cannot film or take photos inside, but there are outdoors areas where you can film. I really wish I would have taken like a proper selfie with that big robot, like the selfie that everyone has. I wish I would have, you know, like been a little braver. Uh, but I got the shots that I wanted for some art that uh, some non-commercial art ghibli okay just for fun for some arts that i want to do so at least there's that i was thinking that i was gonna draw here actually should i it's a little cold like my hands are cold should i give it a shot before i go back because i really need to eat something i'm starving ah uh, what to do what to do maybe i can just sit on one of those non uh poop benches here and uh uh, I'm not sure actually. <laughs> Maybe you can draw a little bit because that was the whole point of coming here alone being like, okay, you know what? I'm alone. I can do this. I can go through a thing by myself again. I'm used to it. It's not something to be ashamed of. I love just seeing that, that robot guy at the top. <laughs> I can go alone. I can take my time. I can do what I want. I can see what I want. I can like go at my own pace. I can skip what I want. And if I want to draw something, I can. Oh, the Ghibli bus is here again. So cute. Anyway, let's see if I, I can draw something around here. My hands are pretty cold already, like, see how pink they are? I realized that I was talking to a camera which was not recording and I was telling you all about the beautiful early sakura in this part because you have like many that have not yet bloomed and then just a handful right here and honestly every time I see them which was not a lot let's face it because I haven't been in Japan for that many seasons but every time I see them I totally understand people's obsession over sakura Appreciation, obsession, whatever you want to call it. So pretty. Sorry, if you see this, uh, I'm having a lazy moment where I'm strapped in to my phone. <laughs> Look at that guy's lens. 
Jesus, I'm wearing gloves so I can't zoom in, but oh my goodness. That is some massive camera lens. Now realizing that the last clip makes no sense because bef the clip before that was like, oh, I'm gonna draw. Then I'm in a park with uh, Sakura. It's because like, my hands got cold, basically. Long story short, and uh, yeah, <laughs> long story short. This is annoying, this, is, this makes no sense. I'm not sure what I want to do right now. I think I saw some vending machines over there. I'm parched, so sounds like a plan. <laughs> Can you hear me? I can't even sing vending machine of the day with this <laughs> with this background racket. <laughs> oh, what should I get? Like hot lemon or milk tea is good or jasmine tea. Feeling hot lemon today. Let's go with that. I tried going to the side where I could hear the violin player more than the guitar player. I feel like it's such an old granny, but actually the, the violin with the nature is that's my pick. That's my choice. Sorry, I'm like really cold. I'm gonna try and warm up my hands just enough to finally fit in that little doodle time and then i'll head back i think let's do this This is the last clip I filmed before getting on the train and just passing out because of how tired I was that day. Oh my gosh, Japan life is fun, but oh my gosh, it's also so tiring. Like nothing is going to plan, which I mean, it keeps it interesting, but also I'm like, oh my god, can you just, can I just get a little stability here? Can I? Is that even possible? Or yeah, I don't know. Hi everyone, it's been a while. How are you all doing? Can you believe that it's almost one year since I've moved to Japan already? I guess it's time for that one year update video pretty soon. So if you have any questions for me, leave them below this video or DM me on Instagram or something like that. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make a Q&A sticker on my Instagram story. So be sure to uh, check that out sometime. I don't know. Uh, my schedule is a bit weird at the moment. Things are weird in general, but c'est la vie, isn't it? So yeah, as usual, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. I know my uploads are sporadic, but they do come eventually. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Check out my other links. There might be something you're interested in. I have an art Patreon. I even have a free and only fans to try and make ends meet. So there's a little bit for everyone. Yeah, this is my life now. <laughs> Anyway, I hope to see you soon, talk to you soon. I've gotten some really sweet messages from you guys asking if I'm okay. That's how sporadic my uploads are. Guys, I'm fine. Just life. I'll try and explain everything in the one year update video. It's gonna be a long one. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Anyway, I'll word you all. Thank you all for watching, for sticking around. Thank you for giving me your time. I really appreciate it. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye now. I'll word you all. Mwah!